Hi, this is Gail. I am going to share with you today a journal that I made out of all the neutral papers that I had left over from other projects and that I have so much vintage ephemera and it goes so well with the neutrals that I thought I'd put together um, a journal that is vintage and neutral and has lots of writing space. So that's what we're going to flip through today. Uh, I left the cover just very plain. It's um, scrunched up tissue paper and antiqued and has the look of leather. So, and some thin vellum paper to begin with. Then we've got a piece of music paper that is Mod Podged with a napkin. So um, that starts us off. We also have this wonderful stamp that I used throughout and I can't seem to find the, the pack. Um, I looked for it this morning and couldn't find it. It's I think either Dina Wakely or it might be a Tim Holtz one. So I'm sorry I don't specifically have who created that stamp. Um, this is a file folder that I created from an embossed piece of brown paper that went with. I have Tim Holtz um, little flashcards held with the tiny paper clips that Tim Holtz has. And then the sari ribbon throughout is just a cream colored, very neutral. Um, this little pocket again has Tim Holtz embellishments on it. And then um, one of the pictures, I think this is either Tim Holtz or Seven Gypsies. I'm not sure. Um, coffee dyed paper throughout and I was coffee dyeing some gears. So this page turned out kind of cool from that. Uh, SNH Green Stamps page. I have a variety of papers in here. They're just left over from other projects, but they're all, they have the neutral colors in common. Flash card. This is a leftover piece of Tim Holtz paper that I just rounded the corners and tucked in there. A vintage ad for Woodbury Facial Soap. It's in there. Um, a double belly band in the back. I have a journaling card. From, that I um, just lined the back so that it could be journaled on. And this little folder is um, inked on the edges. I believe it's a DIY shop uh, little folder. Uh, I was doing a, a lot of coffee dyed borders, so the backs of the papers uh, reflect that. Um, journaling spot. This is a fun index card that I found in an estate sale. I think it was probably from the 70s and it was address and phone numbers to keep track of that. Had the little punches at the top that somebody could put it into a, into a folder of some sort. There's the funny little guys on the back. Um, also, coffee, coffee dyeing some, um, some border pieces and some of them bled through. So this is a about the only color in in this journal but it was kind of a happy surprise that it did that coffee dyed music paper lots of journaling space in this this particular one um, this pocket the I got a stack of these of these types of cards at an antique store um, just some some retail signs from long ago so it was kind of fun to add those in um, this paper is from a little notebook that I got it at an estate sale this is kind of a fun piece uh, Falk a good name in industry vest pocket engineering information and then it says it's from 1952 so kind of cool um, tucked it in this way so that the neutral side was this way. Um, a journaling card from Tim Holtz. So just added some some of the vintage ephemera. This is a, a I think it's a French book page. 
This is just a little ad from an old magazine and again, a little book page on insects. This picture somebody sent me and um, so shout out to whoever's relatives those are, but that's just an old vintage picture of a couple. So pop that in there. Got a fold out page here. Again, lots of journaling spots. Double pocket here. Again, I use that stamp. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. And just use that on a coffee dyed tag. So that's in the back pocket. There's some sort of a ticket here from, from long ago. Uh, and an old vintage tag. I kind of stuck that with it because the, the printed tag is a little bit fragile. So... Uh, little half page here, a little embellishment that's just cut out of a piece of scrap paper. And this pocket, uh, again, it's the music paper with the napkin. This was a leftover piece that kind of looked like a bookmark, so I stuck that in. And this is a swap note reply card. And then on this side, it says return message here. So... Apparently the predecessor to email, I guess. And then just a little um, tag from a booklet of tags. A flash card and a library card tucked in there. And this belly band I didn't glue in. I just put fancy paper clips on either side so it has room to expand right now it has a small journal within a journal in there um, the seven gypsies journaling card this is an envelope that I made from a jelly print and it's got an extra piece of this scrap paper I just rounded the front edges and made more journaling area yet so uh, have a little craft bag here to stick things into and then the other side I just um, clipped it with a scrapbooking scissors and let's see double pocket again one of my fun little cards from travels and a coin sleeve, a old parking check, and this is a game piece. So, and I have a fold out envelope with a Tim Holtz journaling card in it. And then the back has a little tuck spot and another Tim Holtz journaling card. So there's the neutral journal. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it inspires you to take some of your just plain, plain papers and, and make something kind of wonderful and vintage out of it. I really am happy with how this turned out. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.